She's dead. Hello, everybody. Ross here, and welcome to Kirby 64 The Crystal Shards. Hmm, might be a bit low. <clears throat> so, I'm still in a Kirby mood. So we're playing this now. Nintendo's like, hey, we're putting one of the best Kirby games on our online subscription. Ugh, fine. I'll buy the online plus subscription, you a-holes. You finally got me. So here we are. Uh, yeah, sure. Bonk. So, Fairy Planet gets attacked by evil. Crystal that is important to Fairy Planet shattered. Now, Kirby be good boy in hell. So, here we go! Do, do. Alright, clicking the planet goes back to the world select. So, yeah, Kirby 64 is a game I really remember loving. So, and I'm excited to get back into it and play it again after all these years. Yeah, uh, you can't hold it in this game. You have to mash. Super Needle! Oh yeah, here's where Clutter Needle comes from, this game. So yeah, one of the cool things about Kirby 64 was that you could combine abilities. And a lot of the abilities are actually unique to this game, if I remember correctly. Let's see, Cutter and Fire gets you... Oh! I can just... Jesus Christ, Kirby. Alright, so Kirby's anime swordsman now. I mean, let's be honest, he pretty much already is at this point in his lifespan. But dang. I didn't remember giant fire sword I can just casually walk around with. It's awesome. Ow. Oh, it even hits on the way out, too. <laughs> also, Kirby 64 had good music. Every Kirby game has good music. I like this ability. I might just keep this. Giant fucking flaming sword. Hell yeah. Boop. <laughs> Poke. Oh, wow, I can just turn around and kill shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a lot of the crystal shards, they have, like... They're generally color-coded, so I think I need bombs for that. Okay, that's how I throw up. I press the drop button again. One disappointment with Curse 64 is that he doesn't get hats and outfits, but oh well. Yep. See if I can get. 
fire and bomb kit. Fireworks! Ah, uh, yeah, that's right, you can triple do it. I remember liking this ability a lot. So here's something that happens in this game and it's never brought up again. The color looks a bit saturated on my video feed. That, uh... A Waddle Dee getting possessed by a Dark Matter creates a Waddle Doo? <laughs> oh wow, the stars in this game hurt you. And older Kirby's were harder. <laughs> oh my god, he's got iframes. I want to pay. He wants a rematch. I wonder if this is the Waddle Dee that later becomes Bandana Dee. Oh. I misremembered how that worked. Okay, all the crystals on that level, but it was only the first one. And here we go. Ah, uh, yes. The Ultimate Forest. Boop. Boop, boop. Yeah, abilities that let you keep your momentum and not have to stop to use them are the best. Ow! You cock! <laughs> have I already found my favorite? Like I said, what I do remember from my childhood, I do remember liking this ability. Just keep going. Speed! Ow. Sandwich. Hold on. I feel like I remember a rock and a spark being very good. Yes! You get like a fucking electric ball and chain, essentially. That's another one I remember liking. So used to later games of just being able to hold the fly button. Do 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 do. I remember there being a crystal below. You got to fly for at some point here. Man, the memories are all just flooding back instantly. Yep, here we go. Thanks, bottled friend. This ability is awesome. Oh! Ah! Oh. Seriously, just let it go. You don't even need to do anything. The autopilot ability. Ah, Adeline. And those of you who have played Star Allies might know, recognize her. And if you didn't know, here's where she's from.
but she has also caught a case of bitchitis, which we will now beat out of her. I love her sketch monsters. <laughs> I'm just standing here doing pretty much nothing. Adeline, what is this? Did she just attack me with a drawn... Did she just sketch a dick? I love the fat chubby dragons in Kirby. I was happy to see them get, like, actual models in, um, Super Fighter Clash or whatever it's called. I forgot she does a Dark Matter sketch. But you can see how I could forget a lot, because as you see, everything she draws just dies so quickly. Boop! <laughs> I remembered that. She just goes down in one hit. You can just kick her. Ugh. That always gives me gives me a chuckle. And yet another joins Kirby's party of peppy adventurers. There's, like, cards at the end of the levels. They're, like, bestiary cards or something. Like, there's an enemy database slash bestiary you can fill up, and that's how you do it with those cards. So they're, like, the games, I guess you could call it main collectible. But they're only at the end of the levels, so you don't really have to hunt for them. If you want to fill in the encyclopedia, you just kind of have to grind. Now that I think about it, I guess that's not too different from the, like, the sticker and keychains from the 3DS games. Except, you know, they are found throughout the level. But you can also get one at, like, the end level minigame. There's something that, um... Forgotten Land was missing. The classic end of level minigames that Kirby's always have. Did Star Allies have one? I don't remember. It might be time for a Star Allies replay. All right, Castle D to D. Why is this old 64 version of it, like, way fancier than later versions, it seems like? Can't touch this. Boop. This main theme is so frickin' catchy. It lives in my head, rent free to this very day, even though I haven't played this in years. <laughs> Two games back to back that I've played that have been like something I've played forever ago that I haven't touched in years. Although, except for the night, I had only played the one time, like a friend's version. This is a game I have owned and I've played multiple times, so. This one, more of it remains in my memory. Ah, shit, I need... Green is Cutter, right? The... Thank you! Your needle. What does needle and cutter give? 
Because I'm pretty sure these are cut. Yep, green. Oh, right. The terrifying fucking antlion monster arms. Have I ever mentioned that Kirby is one scary little bastard? Because he is. Oh, but that's not going to work because I need something that can hit below me. So this ain't going to cut it. Pun not intended. If I remember right, Cutter in this game is... Yeah, he throws his face! Oh, I don't like it. But I also kind of love it. But yeah, you're slow and you can't do anything else while that's out. Such a weird and kind of creepy ability. And also very debilitating while it's active. Wait, Sir Kibble, that was another cutter. Shit. Why did I kill him? Because it might have been worth it to stack two of these. Will that be a big enough hitbox to get it? I'm not sure. No, I need something bigger. Shit. We're gonna get this damn crystal! <laughs> no, all the crystals are necessary in order to get to the end of the game. And I do mean all of them. Now that should be big enough to hit below me. Kirby's magical growing, spike growing face. It's a fucking nightmare. Boop. Okay. We got the two crystals in this level. Now let's get the third one from the boss at the end. Well, mini boss, really. Are you anything in this game? No, no parasol. Damn. Fire sword, right? Yep. And we're back! Damn, we're already through World 1. This game is really short, I remember. Most Kirby games are, but this one's really short. That was... sad. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just stand there and hold it and he dies. <laughs> kind of fucked that he staggers when you hit him. Man, DDD got the shaft in this game with his fight.
Got it. Brr. All right, and now the world one boss. Surprise, it's Wispy Woods. Ow, I'm getting my ass beat. What the hell? Oh my god, am I gonna fucking die to Wispy? Way more effective than actually swinging. This ability, I don't even have to fucking do anything. I'm just standing here, smiling menacingly, and I win. Kirby wins by doing absolutely fucking nothing. Here we go! And the crystals shall guide us. To Rockstar! <sighs> Dang, should I just stop it there? Because I was considering maybe like one world per episode. Man, that was fast. Yeah, you know what? It's fine. I have a shorter series with some shorter episodes, I think. And the next ones will be longer, because this was glorified tutorial level. So, yeah. That will do it for this first episode of Kirby 64, everybody. Then, let me know if you want more of Kirby 64, because I love this game. So, until next time, y'all have a great evening, and take care of yourselves.